0 times the probability 1 over 35 plus 1 times 12 over 35 plus 2 times 18 over 35 plus 3 times 4 over 35. And the expected value natin ngayon for this problem is equal to Hi everyone, this is Eric Dixman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this tutorial video, we are going to discuss the topic from probability, the calculation of mean, variance, and standard deviation. So, without further ado, let's begin. After creating the probability distribution, there are three important parameters in random variables that best describes the experiment, the mean, variance, and standard deviation. So in this video, we are going to learn how to calculate those three parameters of the discrete random variable. So let's start with the mean. The mean of a discrete random variable x is the value that is expected to occur per repetition on average if an experiment is repeated a large number of times. So it is denoted by this symbol mu. Our equation for the mean is to calculate the mean of a discrete random variable x, we multiply each value of x by the corresponding probability and the sum resulting product. So this sum gives the mean or in other terms, mean of a discrete random variable x is also called the expected value and is denoted by ex. So pareho lang sila ng equation. Next, the variance of a discrete random variable x is defined as a measure of the dispersion or variability in the distribution. It is denoted by sigma square or simply Vx. In other terms, sinatawag natin yung variance as the population variance. And, and yung population variance is defined as the average of the square distance of x from the population mean. And for the variance, this is our equation to calculate the value of our variance. And for the standard deviation naman, the standard deviation of a discrete random variable measures the spread of its probability distribution. It is denoted by sigma. So meaning, para makalculate natin ang value ng standard deviation ng discrete random variable, simply kukunin na lang natin yung square root ng variance. Since variance is equal to the sigma square and the standard deviation is equal to sigma. Gagamitin na lang natin yung equation ng variance and again, we will take the square root of its value. A higher value for the standard deviation of a discrete random variable indicates that x can assume values over a larger range about the mean. In contrast, a smaller value for the standard deviation indicates that most of the values that x can assume are clustered closely about the mean. Given the probability distribution of the random variable x, calculate the mean, variance, and standard deviation of x. Ang formula natin for the mean or yung expected value is simply mu is equal to summation of x, px. Since, ang given naman sa atin dito is fx, pwede natin rewrite ito as summation of x times f of x. So, to solve for that, sa mean muna tayo, isolve natin 1 by 1 yung x times f of x ng probability distribution natin. For 0 times 0 0.02, eto, ang magiging value niyan is 0. Dito naman, 1 times 0.2 since summation na gagawin natin, i-multiply natin itong value ng random variable x sa corresponding probability niya and i-add natin silang lahat. Next, we have 2 times 0 0.3 plus 3 times 0 0.3 plus 4 times 0 0.1 plus 5 times 0 0.08. Na magiging value ng mean natin ngayon is equal to 2.3. So, this is the value for the mean. Next, for the variance, ang formula natin for variance is sigma square equals summation of x square px or simply sa problem na ito, gagamitin natin as fx minus mu square or yung mean natin. Since given na sa atin yung mean, kaya ang importante sa topic na to for probability distribution kapag magsasolve tayo ng mean variance and standard deviation mas mainam na mauneng mean next yung variance and finally yung standard deviation so alam na natin yung value ng mean which is eto yun kailangan na lang natin isolve this itong part na to so to solve for that x square ibig sabihin we have to raise muna into square itong value ng random variable and then i-multiply natin sa kanyang probability for this part 
okay. Summation of x square times f of x is equal to 0 square times 0 0.02 plus 1 square, eto na yun, times 0 0.2 plus, eto naman, 2 square times 0 0.3 plus 3 square, eto yun, times 0 0.3 plus, eto na, 4 square times 0 0.1 and finally, plus, eto yun, 5 square times 0 0.08 summation of x square times f of x is equal to 7.7 .7 or 7.70 substitute na lang natin dito sa equation na to to solve for the variance and ang variance natin is sigma square equals 7.70 minus ang value ng mean natin is 2.5 so this is 2.5 square Ang value ng variance natin ngayon is equal to 1.45. This is our variance. For the standard deviation, since ang standard deviation natin is simply sigma, alam na natin yung value ng variance which is yung sigma square. To solve for standard deviation is square root na lang natin ito. Ang sigma natin is equal to, or ang standard deviation natin is equal to the square root of, ang variance natin is 1.45. 45. Ang value ng standard deviation natin now is 1.204. And since yung standard deviation natin of a discrete random variable is obtained by taking the positive square root, yung positive square root ng 1.45, yung value ng standard deviation ay never magiging negative. So this is how you solve the mean variance and standard deviation of a probability distribution of a discrete random variable. And this is example number one. A corporation is planning to market a new product. According to the analysis, it will earn an annual profit of 4.5 million pesos if this product has high sales. It will earn an annual profit of 1.2 million pesos if the sales are mediocre. And it will lose 2.3 million pesos a year if the sales are low. The probabilities of these three scenarios are 0 0.32, 0 0.51, and 0 0.17 respectively. Letter A, let X be the profits and create the probability distribution of the x. Letter B, calculate the mean and standard deviation of x. For letter A, ang pinapanap lang sa atin is yung probability distribution of x. Since given naman na sa atin yung profits, dahil yung x ay nagre-represent ng profits, so this is x and this is f of x. This is letter A. Ang x natin, we have 3. Yun yung 4.5 million pesos. So 4.5 na lang ilagay natin dito and 2.3 and 1.2 and for the last value ng random variable natin it will lose 2.3 million daw so mawawala hindi siya mag earn ibig sabihin yung 2.3 million pesos na yun is a negative random variable this is negative 2.3 for the probabilities natin given na rin naman sa atin we have 0 0.32 for 4.5 million 0 0.51 and 0. 17. So, ito na yung ating answer for letter A. For letter B, using the probability distribution, masasolve natin yung mean and yung standard deviation. Solving for the mean, this is equal to summation of x times f of x. And yung mean natin now is equal to 4.5 times 0 0.32 plus 1.2 million times 0 0.51 plus negative 2.3 million times 0 0.17 so ang mean natin now is equal to 1.661 million pesos ito yung ating answer for the mean for the standard deviation naman and it is denoted as sigma na manggagaling lang din sa formula ng variance ibig sabihin yung standard deviation natin is equal to square root of summation of x squared times f of x minus mean or yung mu natin na square na na-solve natin kanina eto yan so para mas madali tayo solve muna natin itong part na to since alam naman na natin yung mean summation of x square times f of x is equal to 4.5 square times 0 0.32 plus 1.2 square times 0 0.51 plus negative 2.3 
square times 0 0.17. Summation of x square times f of x now is equal to 8.1137. Ito yan. So, ilalagay na lang natin dito to solve for the standard deviation. Sigma is now equal to the square root of 8.1137 minus ang mean natin na solve kanina is 1.661 square. Standard deviation natin now is equal to 2.314 million pesos. These are standard deviation. Meaning, it is expected that the corporation will earn an average of 1.661 million pesos in profits per year from this product and with a standard deviation of 2.314 million pesos. So this is example number 2. A lot contains 7 components, 4 good components and 3 defective components. A sample of 3 is taken. Find the expected value of the number of good components in this sample. So take note, again, pag sinabi natin expected value, we are just going to solve for the mean of this experiment. But first, kailangan muna natin of course, gawin yung probability distribution. Since this problem is going to be a problem with the principle of combination, hindi na natin gagawin yung sample space kasi sobrang dami. Ang gagawin na lang natin is, alamin na lang natin yung bilang ng sample points sa sample space natin. Kukuha tayo ng tatlo out of 7 components. So, combination yan. This is 7C3. Number of sample space natin, 7C3. And this is equal to 35 sample points ang meron tayo. For the values of random variable natin, so obviously, Dahil hanggang tatlong pipili natin, ay nang nirepresent ng x natin is yung number of good components sa sample. So, obviously, this is 0, 1, 2, and 3. And to create the probability distribution, okay, this is our probability distribution, f of x, 0, 1, 2, and 3. For the first probability, f of 0, random variable value natin na 0, so, ang total number of sample points natin is 35. Dahil ang value ng random variable natin dito ay 0, walang mapipili na good component. So, this is 4, C, 0. And lahat is from defective components. This is 3, C, 3. Ito yung tatlong component na napili natin. And lahat ng component na yan ay galing sa defective components. Kaya 0 yung nasa good components. And ang value for f of 0 now is equal to 1 over 35. Take note na 4c, 0 na lang nilagay ko dito is direct sa calculator na yan. Meron tayong formula for combination. So, it's either of the two kung ano ang pinakamadaling gamitin. So, ang ginamit ko na lang is yung sa calculator. For f of 1, this is equal to isa ang napili na good component. So, this is 4c 1 times 3C, since tatlo ang pipili natin na component, yung isa is good component, yung dalawa is defective, 2 ang ilalagay natin dito. 35, F of 1 is equal to 12 over 35. For F of 2 naman, same process, this is 4C2 and 3C1. Over 35, f of 2 is equal to 18 over 35. For f of 3, this is 4c3 and 3c0 na to. Over 35, f of 3 is equal to 4 over 35. So, ito yung mga probabilities natin. Lalagay natin sa probability distribution. This is 1 over 35. 12 over 35, 18 over 35, and 4 over 35. Since alam na natin yung probability distribution, we can now solve for the expected value or simply the mean of the number of good components in this sample, the mean of x. So mean is also equal to the expected value as e of x, the expected value of the random variable x. And ang formula natin is x times f of x summation. So, ang expected value of the random variable x is equal to ito, 0 times the probability 1 over 35 plus 1 times 12 over 35 plus 2 times 
18 over 35 plus 3 times 4 over 35. And ang expected value natin ngayon for this problem is equal to 1.7. Thus, if a sample of size 3 is selected at random over and over again from a lot of 4 good components and 3 defective components, it will contain on average 1.7 good components. And ito nga yung expected value na yan. And this is example number 3. <laughs>